So I'm delighted to say we've got Will Oxley with us um, and we thought we'd take the opportunity while we're going to ask him a few more questions uh, about uh, weather more generally, forecasting more generally in the era of climate change and also where AI affects things. It's quite interesting that you should say that in in light of the AI uh, mm -hmm. and, and the climate because they're all intertwined at the moment. And just within the last 24 hours, we've got easy access to a new AI GFS model. And uh, for, for a while now, we've had the AI European model. And so not only are you looking at the physics-based models, but you're looking at the AI models. And uh, mm. Clouds has been talking about this for the last three or four days. Uh, and so the models that we're used to using, the deterministic models, are based on physics. And so very complicated physics, but essentially uh, they've got better over time and they look out uh, five days, six days. They look out longer, but we have confidence generally to maybe five or six days. Whereas the AI models are all about pattern recognition and they're based on machine learning. And, and so what they've done is they've taken the uh, reanalysis data set which I believe is from about 1979 to 2018. They've fed it into the machine and then they've updated it with more recent stuff. And so what it's, what it's doing is it's looking at, at patterns and saying, ah, I've seen this before. And when this happens, typically this is what happens. So the benefits are that it's not as computationally expensive. So you can run it on a very small computer rather than the massive supercomputers that are running the global models. And because it's on pattern recognition, it's able to look further into the future. So these models, the two AI uh, models that we have available to, to most people now, are looking out typically 15 days. Right. Uh, at the moment, thus far, the physics models seem to have been winning out in what's going on, just, just out of interest. But things are improving all the time, so it's likely that the, the uh, AI models are going to continue to improve. And, and one example, just to digress briefly, where they're particularly helpful is uh, we are about to embark in January on a, on a transatlantic race where you're looking maybe 10 days or longer up into the future. And the uh, physics-based models sort of end off and, and they're quite unrealistic. And so you just magically are able to make it to the finish. Whereas hopefully the AI models will be slightly more realistic and, and provide us with, with a solution that, that is going to be more realistic. So I think you'll find people using them more and more, particularly with the really long races.